ears are very important to us. Please hold on and our program will begin shortly. Check podcast is coming up. Please continue to hold. Keep up with the Soundcheck podcast and everything that's happening in the new sounds empire. Just go to newsounds.org and follow us on social media. All of the icons are in the top right corner of the page. All of our other musicians are currently playing for other customers. Please stay with us and someone will play for you in just a moment. From WNYC and the studios of NewSounds.org, welcome to another live performance in our Soundcheck podcast series, streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. I'm John Schaefer. The sounds of Afro-Cuban rhythms, jazz ballads, chamber music, even a touch of electronic music all come together in the Aguas Project, which is making its North American debut here in New York this week, and in fact right here in our studio today. This is a group led by two Cuban musicians, both of whom live in Europe, and one of whom is a familiar face. That's the pianist Omar Sosa, who has collaborated with musicians from around the world, and in this Aguas Project, he's collaborating with the Cuban-born violinist and singer Yilian Canisaris. Kanyasaris. Uh, the two of them are here with us in the studio, and they're going to start us off with a piece called Dos Bendiciones, or Two Blessings. <laughs> No siga si tu sabiduría está en mi corazón, si la fe no me falla en la oscuridad, si tengo a mis ancestros guiándome la voz. Estoy aquí para ser luz Que mi fe en el futuro sea firme en tu presente Perforando las sombras bendecidos de amor Ahorita me están llamando Ahorita Ahorita me están llamando a darme la bendición Morita me están llamando Morita como Morita me están llamando Iré o mo, iré o mo
Acuérdame que el miedo es la muerte prematura Recuérdame que estoy aquí para ser luz Que mi fe en el futuro sea firme en tu presente Perforando las sombras bendecidos de amor Ahorita me están llamando Ahorita Ahorita me están llamando para darme la bendición Ahorita me están llamando Ahorita Ahorita me están llamando Irelona That is lovely. Dos bendiciones, two blessings uh, from the Aguas Project, which was founded by the two musicians who are here with us, uh, Yilian Cañasaris singing and playing the violin, Omar Sosa at our piano. Um, Yilian, who are those blessings? Uh, who, who, who are the subjects of those two blessings? This is a song we, we it's a kind of tribute to our roots, to our ancestors, to our spiritual traditions. And we wanted to um, give this song as a gift because it's a huge inspiration for us as human beings, as musicians, to carry with us these beautiful um, traditions coming from Africa, from the Yoruba tradition. Right, right. This is our heritage. And you, you sing some in y Yoruba, Exactly. Right? We are saying so few, few words that yeah. in fact are blessings. Okay. In Yoruba. So, Omar, uh, over the years, we've heard you work with musicians from Africa, but from, from all around the world. This Aguas project gives you a chance to actually work with fellow Cuban musicians. Yes, well, it's a, it, was a, it was a dream come true, you know. Uh, yeah, I remember when I saw Jillian play, I, I kind of fell in love with it. We heard... Uh, her passion, her talent, and her voice, and the way to play violin. He had her, her stage presence. And, and I said, well, I think it, maybe it's, it's a good time to, to put two generations together. Two different generations yeah, because, of Cubans both living in Europe. Yeah, with, uh, outside Cuba, with a, with a personal, uh, personal view of what we've seen about our tradition and what we already live day by day. So well, so far, you know, yeah. When when we uh, create this project, we got the blessing to to go to one uh, Mediterranean island in Menorca with our families and create the project in front of the sea. This is why the project is so cool, and it's no way the project need to call ours because <laughs> <laughs> because we we create in front of the sea, and actually, it's like Gillian say, the whole project is a tribute to our tradition to our ancestor, and, and in one important thing is the tribute to one of the important elements of this planet, the water. Right. Now you have, I mean, on the album Kalma, there's a piece called Aguas. Yes, and yes. then you did that record with the West African musician Seku Keita yeah. called Transparent Water. water. Yeah. So water, you've, this has been a theme that you've come back to a number of times. Yeah, well, this is simple. It's a simple. Yeah, the more the more I think about what we need to do 
as a musician and and uh, our mission more i say okay it's important to let the people know and first let us know how important is take care of our planet mm -hmm. and if without water we are nothing man we were talking a little bit just before about about the reality of a, of a, of the nature in the world and one of the main problems is the water, the clean water, the right. drinkable water. So uh, something that, you know, will be more valuable than gold in a hundred years is it's, access to fresh water. It's already the goal. Yeah. <laughs> it's already the goal. <laughs> well, um, so th now here in the studio, uh, Yillian, you, you triggered a little bit of electronic percussion yes. in that live performance in... In the uh, the week long residency you're doing here in New York at Birdland and this tour around the country, uh, it's Gustavo Ovias will yes. be. So the does do the electronics stay when he's playing or? Yes, yes. In fact, we wanted to mix the organic, traditional Cuban and Afro Venezuelan and Afro Cuban percussion with some touch of electronic that in a very minimalistic way. Mm. And it's beautiful when Gustavo is here because the blend is really very organic and people don't even know which song, at some points they are like, which song is what? They are really like, it's, it's like a marriage, really, really yeah. beautiful. Well, and also the, the marriage of violin and piano in classical music is something that we're all very familiar with. Yeah. You know? Yes. Uh, so to hear the two of you using that combination in a slightly different direction yes. is, is also something that makes the listener say, wow, what is that? Well, I'm, I'm hearing something that I don't expect. So how, which for you, Yilian, was it singing or violin that came first? Oh wow! <laughs> quite I'm I'm a musician, you know. <laughs> Music came first. Okay. <laughs> but indeed, when when I was child, the, the first instrument for everyone is the voice. Mm -hmm. But then I started the violin, and you know, the violin is such a demanding instrument that it took a lot of my energy to 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 get to to this stage of being really a violinist. Mm -hmm. So I left the voice for a while, and then I. I I feel the need of putting all this together to um, to really express myself in a in a better way. Mm -hmm. And what is beautiful also with this project is that Omar and me we are Cubans, but we come also from a classical uh, tradition. Right. We have a classical training, both of us. So this. I think that people can listen that there is not only Cuban music, not only jazz, not only Africa, but also this European touch that in fact we, we have. And we are blending all these influences and giving something through our vision, through our perspective from today. But what's interesting is, you know, you're not throwing one thing on top of another and, you know, it, it's got like a little bit of everything all at once. This music is very restrained. Uh, it, it, and I mean, I've seen Omar sit at that piano and just play sprays of notes, <laughs> you know, more notes per second. Mm. But in performing this music, it's very spare. And it's, it's like, you know, Omar, you're, it, you're, you're holding back. Thank you, thank you, John. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's not a tsunami. It's a beautiful <laughs> river, it's a good river. And you can put your feet in the river, and you can if you can look your feet with with the water. So we no, it's not reason if the music done a uh, don't demanding million of notes. What is the reason to play million of notes? Actually, all the masters always say, less is more. Right, and it's mm -hmm. it's like the visual artists talk about negative space. You know, you don't have to fill every corner with. This was Something. one of the main subjects when we start this project because, you know, we Cubans, we like like muscular music, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> we are like, give me the fire, you know? <laughs> and here, for me, was a, a big, big, big deal to work on this because it was like, a, you don't need, Omar told me, you don't need to show every time what you know, what you, you can do. Mm -hmm. You just need to be the music and we work a lot on that that is very far from where we come we work on that we were listening to japanese 
uh, masters, uh, you remember? The same. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. The space between, no, the, like the cuenco, the let the rest of my hand go. Yes. And actually one thing, John, was beautiful. When we record this project, we record this project in Italy, in Udine. We pick up that place for two reasons. The studio that we like, Artesono, and actually one of the best restaurants <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's always for, it always comes back to food for you. But you know me. You know, if you know, we are what we eat, and we express what we, we express, yeah, what uh, what we like, and and how we like things. And I remember Jillian. It was the first time she tastes a risotto con tr- truffle risotto. Mm. Mm. In one place, uh, well, you know what, there, there our friends call La Vedova in yes. Udine. And Gillian say, wow. I don't want to say the word she say. I can <laughs> say it. I say, this is uh, orgasmic. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I, the one thing I, I tell her, I say, that this is the music we need to play. Uh. Yeah, because when the uh, when Christina, which is one of the, the person in the in the restaurant, the, the owner, she she slices the, the white white truffles, mm-hmm. one, two, three, four, and the smell come. And, but I know some people don't like truffles. But, but you also don't need to put too much truffle. Yeah, exactly. oh, uh, yeah, this exactly. is what I, you want to. And in some moments, say, okay, oh John. <laughs> yeah. when, we, when we go back to the studio, well, the music came out by itself. Uh-huh. I remember that day we record me longer. Yeah, the, the, the piece which, which I heard yeah. we, we heard just yeah. a little bit of at the, the <laughs> beginning, which I want to ask you uh, about. But first, I want to hear another piece. Uh, so let's um, I mean, you're two Cubans living in Europe. And this song seems to look back at home. It's, yes. it's about Havana, right? Yes, yes. Uh, let's hear. Uh, let's hear the Aguas Project. Um, they are performing all this week, starting tonight and running through Saturday night at Birdland, making their North American debut. Two shows a night, and um, this piece is from the album called Aguas. It's called De La Habana. Se rompen y se pierden en el mar Los sueños aferrados cien la noche Siento eco de tristeza Huele a su cena Desnuda y silenciosa soledad El viento del mar casa por las calles Y ha venido a posarse aquí en mi pecho Cuando sientas el perfume de mi Habana Cada será igual que a Cuando el alma entre sollozos te reclame Que solo importa el amor, el amor y sus matices Como un disparo de beso, de suspiro que se queda empapado de su Sienta ese perfume de mi Habana Nada será igual que antes cuando el alma Se te rompa en el instante En que le dices adiós con los ojos empapados Y aunque todo es imperfecto Nada impide que me quede por adentro con nostalgia de la fama. Es el amor y su matiz, aunque 
que todo aquí imperfecto Nada impide que me quede por adentro con nostalgia De que me aguana Once again, the, uh, the two Cuban-born European-based musicians who lead the Aguas Project performing live in our studio. It's Yilian Cañavares playing the violin and singing. Omar Sosa is at our piano. De la Habana, uh, of Havana and other nostalgias exactly. would be the translation of the title. And it seems like the two of you are not looking back to maybe the Havana that you knew, mm. but... An older Havana. I mean, there's like uh, a... This is your chief friend. This is my man. You got him, brother. I mean, that's like Havana for the 1930s and 40s. 40, and... Ah, yeah, when all the cars was moving, and and yeah, when the view, yeah, the view, they, you know, this concert of Capitolio, in and out, back and forth, yeah. Back to food, good food, yeah. you know. The but elegance. The elegance, you yeah. know, the refinement. Like and what, what did they call those? Uh, were they conjunto, uh, the, the, the danson bands of the time? What were they called? Uh, 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 bueno, orquesta, era una orquesta, una, de, una danzonera, charanga danzonera, right. una danzonera. Yeah. So there were these ensembles that had strings, exactly. yeah. and they drew on European classical exactly. music. They have uh, timbales, you know, they, they're like a timpanis. Right, the big Rum, drums. Ta, yeah. ta, con, actually, the rhythm behind this instrument, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> that, 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 uh, that, uh, that piece yeah. is ra, ta, ta, con, ta, 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 con, ka, 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 con, ra, ka, ta, pa, to, ba, con, ka, ka. Well, but now, the, I mean, it's De La Habana. There it's, is a rhythm yeah. called yeah, the Habanera, Habana. yeah. but that's a different rhythm, right? No, 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 no. That no, is a Habanera? A, yeah, that is a rhythm. No, because you know, it's, it's one part of this, like... A... And people used to dance very yeah. close. close. Yeah. I'm very elegant. Yeah. yeah. Really. But now, uh, Omar, you have lived for many years in Spain, in Barcelona, yeah. where habanera means a different thing, right? Yeah, the, but, the rhythms yeah. are different. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the rhythm is different, but, but was, uh, uh, la habanera was a uh, uh, back and forth yeah. between the Catalanes, was living in Cuba by that time, and and, and, the, and, and the Cuban it was, it was uh, moving to... To Catalonia, so they have a big festivals in in Catalonia with the Havaneras, but we uh, uh, we tripped this song 
more in like a kind of dance song. Yes. And yes. some women go to dance sonete. But the, but the concert, uh, the, the beginning of the song is more habanera because mm-hmm. the, the form, the structure, it was like a song. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to come back. To, uh, uh, Ilian, uh, Omar mentioned the song Milonga before you guys played that song. Yes. And that's one of the tunes on the record that has other musicians. There's a, there's a sax player on that track, and there's there's some found voices. No, we have samplers. Oh, it's a sample. We have samplers. Okay. We have, um, in and fact, and the children's this, choir on Sonrisos. It, it's also a sampler. Wow. Yes, okay. It's also a sampler. Yeah. Those are very very organic sounding yes. samples. This is, the, this is what we try to do. Yeah. yeah. Because we 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 took some some very st- stuff from the from the roots mm-hmm. um from the folkloric in the in, in sonrisas de niños is uh, from the amazonia our children's from the amazonia singing okay. a traditional song and in milonga it's a very special one because it's inspired by one of the poets omar and i love the more is paulo neruda mm-hmm. the great uh, chilean uh, poet yes, yeah. exactly and the um, the uh, all the work of Pablo Neruda is something that is really very important for us. So, in fact, you hear the voice of Pablo Neruda, and you hear also the ah. voice of my grandmother uh, saying one of the poems of our national poet, Jose Martí. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, she's reciting Martí, but Neruda yes. is reciting, it's reciting his, his own work. His own. And we are mixing all this because, you know, we believe that music and art ha- has no boundaries. Mm-hmm. So this is our inter- interpretation of all these um, parts of inspiration that made us uh, play and compose the music that we are doing today. Well, and it's not the first time that Omar has used other voices sure. and draw, drawn <laughs> He's them He's the in. master on that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a long time ago when your son was just a baby and you were using <laughs> him as a heart. source of free labor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just back in the day, man. Oh, oh great, man. So um, we were talking a little bit before earlier, Yilian, about you know occasionally using your Yoruba words, Yoruba words in some of the songs. The next song, Oshun, this is one of the the Orishas, one of the deities, yes. right? She is the goddess of water, love, love. abundance, sensuality, beauty, and in, yes. rivers, you rivers, rivers, yes. Yeah. Water. And she is, in fact, my my goddess. So uh, explain what that means. So you're a daughter of Oshun. Yes, exactly. Well, it's like a, we, we could say like a guardian a angel. Guardian angel. Guardian angel. Okay. Yes. And is that something that you're born into in your family or is it something you choose? How does that? Not really in my family. You know, in Cuba we have the saying, I don't know how to say in English, la cabra siempre tira para el monte. Well, that's kind of complicated, you know. Well. It, it, it means that, you know, I, I was not uh, grown into this tradition, okay. but it was in my blood. So it, it's, it's kind of this. You cannot uh, go away from where you came from. Mm-hmm. And this was my case. I, I studied a classical instrument. I studied Bach. I studied Beethoven. I studied Mozart. But I could not go away from my ancestors, from my mm-hmm. roots, yeah. from my bata drums, right. from my prayers or Yoruba prayers. The and dance. this is the, exactly the dances. Yeah. So Oshun is the, the deity that you were personally drawn to. Exactly. That, the one you can, all right. Um, so how does... How does the writing process work? Did the two of you compose this yeah, together? Yeah, we went, yeah, but let me say, yeah, like I told you before, we went to the Menorca in the Mediterranean, uh, the Mediterranean island, and uh, we start working, you know, uh, relax, you know, no, nothing rush. And I, and I remember when, uh, but uh, it's interesting to say, by that time, by that time I was sick. But I, I cannot go outside and swim in the beach. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I stay only in the house. And I remember one day, one morning, Jillian come and say, I have a one idea. I was sitting on the piano, and she came out with, this, with, mm-hmm. with the idea of a tune because the, the, the lyrics, they're traditional lyrics. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the, uh, but she... 
it's he changed the melody and after that I put the I put the harmony. Mm -hmm. But the 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 lyrics is what we have in our ceremonies. Yeah. In, in the traditional ceremony, in the traditional in the sacred, Santeria. Yeah, in the Santeria, it's mm -hmm. a sacred ceremony. This is the, the, the lyrics. So he come up, I, I have this idea. I, I, I have a dream, I have a dream. I said, well, let's go, let's be yeah. And And this song, in a way, is, uh, is I think it, it represents, in a way, what we like to present mm -hmm. in the record as a concept. Of, well, it, I mean, the project is called Aguas, Waters, and here is this Oshun, the deity of, of water, of rivers, uh, in a live performance here in our studio. Once again, uh, the Aguas Project making their North American debut with a week of shows at Birdland here in New York through Saturday night, two shows a night, and then off to uh, parts of uh, other parts of the U.S., the, uh, the album is called Aguas, but uh, here are uh, Ilian and Omar to play this piece for us live. Ochum, morille yeo, abeji moro, apanganite, equimale odum, aquilado que, ibu guañale guañale, aburcumaso, ochum morille yeo.
That's called Oshun, a, a tribute to the uh, the deity of rivers and water and so much else. And uh, <laughs> honey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and, boy, that had a little, and I mean just a little of everything in it. Just a little bit mm-hmm. Yillian of violin, a little bit Omar of you singing, mm-hmm. a little bit of tapping the strings inside the piano, and another voice. Whose voice do we hear at the beginning of the the tape Lazaro part? Lázaro Ross. Lázaro Ross. Yes. And who, who is that? Who is he? He's one of the he's one of the uh, the more prominent uh, traditional Afro-Cuban singers. Yeah. Uh, we used to have, but he, unfortunately, he passed away a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you if you want to learn about Afro Cuban tradition, one of the reference is Lazaro Ross. Yes. Well, he's he's heard at the beginning, mm-hmm. and then it's as if a torch has been passed. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> we wanted to start from the roots and bring yeah. him to. Well, uh, so Aguas is performing as a trio with yes. Gustavo, Gustavo Ovias. Um, every night, two shows every night this week, starting tonight, running through Saturday at Birdland. Yillian, Omar, this has been, it's a beautiful project. Thank you so much for, for coming in and playing. Thank you, it for, thank us you for having us. Thank, thank you. you. This is Soundcheck. Soundcheck.